G'day, my name's Chris, and well, today we're gonna to find out two things. Does the MG ZS EV have phantom battery drain? And what's the deal about keeping your 12 volt battery healthy and why it's important, not just to MG drivers, but to all electric vehicle drivers. If you're new to the channel, if you're interested in electric vehicles, renewables, and well, tech from an Australian perspective, please consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. If you want to take it to the next level, join us over here somewhere on Patreon, where from as little as like a coffee per month, you can support me and get like early access news, polls, stories, things that you just don't get here. Now, before I get into what I'm about to do here, experimental wise, um, let's talk about what fan and drain is and well, low voltage and high voltage batteries, okay? So, uh, electric vehicles, they have a big battery pack, right? That's the one that you know, that's the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, 75, 100, whatever it might be. One that actually moves the car, provides electricity to the electric motors and the, mo the motors turn around and the car goes. And um, well, Surprisingly, and what well, I'll talk about this uh, later on, I'm guessing, um, they also have a 12 volt battery. And so that's a low voltage battery. And the idea for that is, is that can, it gets the car going and it turns the car on. And so for some cars out there, the battery drain, particularly electric vehicles, can be quite significant. And with Teslas in particular, they have this thing called phantom drain. And that is that you might leave your car just overnight or parked in a parking lot for a week or two as you go on holiday, that's me. And um, when you get back, you could find that your high voltage battery has been drained or you just can't start. And well, the range you anticipated to maybe get to your next destination just isn't there. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad thing to happen, obviously. So in this experiment, we're about to go to Brisbane and the Gold Coast for 12 days and um, we'll see whether or not the range in this car drops, okay? So let's just check out this menu. So we've got like, there we go, 168 kilometers of range right now. It's not fully charged. I've only charged it up to about 70, 60, 70, I don't know what percent it is that. <laughs> it's not fully charged. So I'm quite happy with that. You know, not leave, don't never leave your um, battery electric vehicle in fully charged state. Never. No. Do it just before you're on a big journey. Yes. Yeah. But everyday driving, don't do that. All right. So yeah, 168 kilometers. That's great. And the 12 volt battery indicator, that's the one over there on the left you can see, that's sort of indicating a bit above that 12 volt line. So when we get back, we'll take a look at these and make sure, well, has, has there been any change? And um, yeah, it'd be quite fascinating to find out, right? But that's enough. I think we should get out of here and go on holiday. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not 12 days later, it is 14 days later because, well, hashtag COVID sucks. You wanna know more about our best and worst holiday ever? Go click up here. All right, I'm back home, got the keys. Let's see if this thing actually opens. Awesome, that's a good sign. Well, so far, so good. We can get in. Let's check to see how much range we've got left. Well, there you go. No range drop whatsoever. So there's no phantom drain. And uh, unlike Teslas that are running your computer and they're connecting to the cellular network so that you can actually, you know, operate your car remotely, you know, like the climate control, uh, control many other features in them. In Australia, unfortunately, we don't have app integration, you know, SIM card stuff, unlike some other marketplaces, which is kind of peculiar. I think it'd be a good value add, MG, just suggesting. Um, but nonetheless, we still have exactly the same range that we left with over two weeks ago. So that's a good thing to know. But you might have clicked on this video saying, well, tell me, Chris, what, what is it about the 12 volt battery that I need to know? And that is this, is that your car, be it an internal combustion engine car, you know, a legacy car, or even these new fandangled battery electric vehicles, the 
they all actually still have a 12 volt battery and that is because well manufacturers they buy the switch gear the headlights um, anything like your your power windows they all run off the 12 volt battery the high voltage battery the one that actually moves the car and gives you range that doesn't actually power those basic fundamental things of your car so think about your um your uh your car computer all almost all cars since well probably the 1990s onwards have had car computers and the the 12 volt battery needs to be able to turn that thing on so that then in your electric vehicle it then turns the relays to say hey high voltage battery wake up let's do this and so whenever you turn on like an electric vehicle especially teslas you'll hear some clunky clunky noises that's essentially what's happening so they operate separately and there's a special like um, direct current to direct current that's dc to dc um, feed that goes from the high voltage battery down to the 12 volt battery to keep that 12 volt battery at the sweet spot which is 12 volts and so if you were to go on a long holiday my best advice is this go buy yourself one of these it's a trickle charger in your country it might have a different name but what you can do is you actually connect it up to your battery terminal that is a 12 volt battery and it just keeps a little little bit of electricity going into it as to keep it at that healthy 12 volt state then when you get home remember to disconnect it because i've heard horror stories uh, disconnect it and you'll be fine and dandy remember batteries 12 volt batteries they only have a certain lifespan anyway and they're either lead acid or some other funky sort of um, battery chemistry that is designed to handle getting a car started so with ice vehicles that then uh, signals to the um, car computer and the alternator to start turning over to then get the engine running and then after the engine's running the alternator then sends current um, alternating funny that to the 12 volt battery to keep it topped up and uh, another good point to remember here is that when you are just sitting in your car not actually moving and let's say it's turned off that is to say the uh, high voltage battery is being turned off and you're just sitting there listening to your stereo maybe you've got the fans on you've got your headlights on they're drawing power from your 12 volt battery so be very conscious of that in later videos i will be experimenting with camping mode to see if that actually draws power from the 12 volt battery versus the high voltage battery and that's going to be significant because look if you're out in the bush let's say and you're camping out there and you're drawing power on that 12 volt battery these electric cars they don't behave very well in fact they just won't start they you won't be able to move and go anywhere if it's got less than a nominal voltage now I don't know what that is but I'm, I've seen videos where people are like it can be as low as 10 volts and nothing will start you've got a dead car won't go nowhere so if ever you get into your car and it's not behaving like it won't start it won't move think first about your 12 volt battery what can you do well yeah you can get yourself a, a trickle charger but you can still actually use jumper leads to get a jump start of any car it could be another electric car it could be a legacy um, ice vehicle doesn't matter just get yourself a jump start onto those 12 volt connectors get the computer going all the relays will kick in and then the high voltage battery is saying yep here you go have some electricity from me and then it donates for the dc dc back into your 12 volts so i hope that's helped you and it's good to know that look um in this situation i've lost no range whatsoever and uh yeah um if you enjoyed the video please subscribe it's free uh, if you want to join me at the next level um join me somewhere over here on patreon uh where for the rest of january you can free to join and otherwise leave me a little comment down below and yeah have you ever experienced this yourself it is actually a very common issue for electric vehicles and that is to say that you can't get your car started and well the first thing to try and look at is your 12 volt battery yeah.